Don't I often find you hanging around in car parks, Simon? Come on. What's the deal? What's in the back? Um, it's like my happy place. Your happy place? It's my happy place where I have all my shiny things. And like? OK. So, when I arrive in the morning for work, the cart comes Well, off, yeah, obviously. the cart is it, first. It has to. And then, always next is mics for the booms, the lovely Neumanns. Um, in lovely cyclones, it has to be said. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Um, that comes off. The next one, usually, is the battery box. I'm very proud of this one. Made by my chum, Stuart. And it's, this is like my James Bond case. With all the chargers built in. Um, and we, we usually leave it somewhere on set where the grown-ups can see it because they come past and think it looks dead posh. I always figure if you get some flashing lights, they pay you more. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So that's the charger case that comes off. Then radio mics. I've never quite solved the problem of radio mics and the radio mic box gets bigger and bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier and heavier. So the current iteration of the radio mic box is transmitters, microphones, underneath is belts, and underneath the belts is another layer with all the things like mag mounts for... Um, You've got two flavours of radio mics in there, haven't you? I've got um, audio limited A10s, yeah. um, which generally do the people, and I've got Zaxcom 743s that do the booms, and in fact, I bought a couple of the ZMTs, as they're known, um, so that I can pop them on, on the actors that want little ones. And, of course, the, uh, the connecting factor in all of that is they are all... All digital. Um, the, Neumann, the Neumann boom mics are digital. Which is nice, because you made the jump before we all have to, because I think yeah. we all realise analogue radio mics are dead now. Yep. Next off the van is IEMs. So all, all the listening packs, um, which are, again, audio limited, EN2s. And analog at the moment because... Um, I haven't got around to buying digital yet. Well, yeah. Um, not that much choice, not, is there? Yeah, well, not that much choice yet. Um, that's most of what comes off on a regular basis. Um, fancy things. I'm very proud of this one. We made a very neat box for the Phonak transmitter, which we built the whole thing into the box and it can run on an MP1 or off a eSmart battery. So I've got both connectors in, like just put one or the other. And there's a couple of earpieces ready to go in there. So it's just... That's another steward, isn't it? That's... Yeah. Yeah. And it's just a... Um, like a, a one little box solution, just plonk it on the set near the actors and it just does it, which is, is that, great. Is there a thread on the bottom of it? for? So I can mount it on a stand so it's not just on the floor. Ooh. Just stick it on a mic stand. Um, it was a last minute thought. Um, but the real, the real centrepiece is the trolley. Um, so um, this was one that Stuart built for me a while back. The top was temporary, but it's been there for 18 months, so it's, it's doing quite well. Um, but the thing I love is that I can do... I, it does this marvellous trick where we, um, I can choose my working height. So if I'm, it's usually if I'm getting dozy, and then I'll work standing up for a while. Um, and quite often I'll work standing all day. You do it, don't you? I, yeah, I never sit down to whatever. I haven't, I haven't never yeah. have. Yeah. And so I can do standy work, and then if I want to have a, a sit down or do, do, do laptop in between takes or something, I can just set it to another height and sit down and work there. I love it. It makes me smile every time it goes up and down. I just love it. And you're recording on... An art on now, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, I went to X3 about 
two years ago now. Um, and I've been in a very happy place. And overall, I think one of the things, not the thing, but one of the things about your cart is it is, what, 95% digital? I mean, apart from IEM, uh, so you, on the boom yeah, you've got yeah, a digi mic. Yeah, digital booms, digital radio mics. Um, the IEM goes analog. Um, and I'm looking to go more digital. Um, so currently I'm on analog outs for the A10s, but that will become digital in the in the next in the next tidy up. And the the Cedar, if you, if you ever use that, are you using the AES on that as well? Yeah, that's already plumbed in on AES. That was a, that was the easy way. That was as easy as any because then you don't have to think about the levels. It just goes to the Cedar, comes back, and the levels are the pretty much the same anyway. And shameless plug. I mean, it's powered by. Oh. One of those um, marvellous Easy Life batteries that... Who I've makes those, Simon? Could be Stuart. Oh! <laughs> um, but who, yeah, um, Stuart and I designed them some years ago. So it's effectively, um, it's a kilowatt of power in a, in a small pelly um, that will run even my trolley for a day and a half, nearly two days. Um, but they are in very short supply. Yeah, and you can't have mine. <laughs> all mine. Uh, all right, that's all the electronics and, and the whiz-bangs. Physically, bits and bobs, mechanics. Oh, well, the other one that comes out now, because we can do it now, because we have these things. Of course, we now have a whole, that whole variety of sticking microphone on people things. Um, which it's, it's like the old sticking plaster box that I used to like sorting out when I was a kid. And all those belts and straps and sticky things and all and all and all. That one kind of comes out the van with that almost well, always. I would suggest that that's looking a bit empty and considering where we are at the moment, should we go and stock up? Oh, let's go and stock up. Come on, come on.